men and dogs in space. So um, not many people know that the Russians were actually the first group of people to put the first man and dogs in space. So being Americans, uh, we all know who Neil Armstrong is, but how many of you guys know who Yuri Gagarin is? Anybody? Yeah, okay, so that's why I think this topic is relevant to speak about. Um, I'm credible to speak about this topic because I'm fascinated with it and I've done my fair amount of research. So um, hopefully by the end of this presentation, you guys will all have some sort of newfound knowledge of the, face, the first space explorers of our generation. Um, so first I'm gonna talk to you about a dog named Laika, the first dog in space, but unfortunately she didn't make it back. And second, I'm gonna talk to you about Belka and Stroka, the first dogs in space to successfully make it back alive. And lastly, I'm gonna talk to you about Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space. So um, now I'm gonna talk to you about Laika. So Laika um, was a stray dog found in the streets of Moscow by the Soviet Union. Uh, she was believed to be about three years of age and was half husky, half terrier. And um, she was put aboard the Sputnik 2 on November of 1957, which was her first launch. Um, it, was a, it was a successful launch, and it gave her the title as the first living creature in outer space. However, um, the technology to deorbit was not yet invented back then, so she did not make it back. But um, it was said that she had died seven days after launch by the Soviet Union, but according to Dr. David Whitehouse from the BBC World News, um, she died just hours after launch. Yeah, she died due to stress and overheating, and um, it was not made public until 2002, but instead the Soviet government claimed that she died from lack of oxygen, and that they euthanized her prior to oxygen depletion. So I've talked to you about Laika, now I'm going to talk to you about Belka and Straka. So um, although Laika did not return, the Soviet Union continued to capture several different breeds of dog to undergo various testings and training to undergo various testings and trainings to find the most suitable dog cause and match. They had to meet physical and psychological requirements. Uh, for example, they would have to fit in a small cockpit, therefore they could only be 13 pounds at the heaviest and 14 inches at large. Um, for, as for psychological training, they would have to fit in a small motionless cockpit with standing overloads and vibrations for a significant amount of time. So after all this training, uh, Belka and Stroka were chosen. It was three years after Laika's first launch that they were put into space aboard the Cordell Sputnik 2 once again. They, they were in space for one whole day before returning to the ground. And um, they were the first living creatures to be put into space and make it down to Earth safely. Upon arrival, they were, all, they were recognized as heroes and their fame began. So now that I talked to you about Belka and Stroka, I'm gonna talk to you guys about Yuri Gagarin first man in space. So Yuri was, um, he was a Russian Soviet cosmonaut and pilot. He was born on March 9, 1934. Um, he was put into space on April 12, 1960 aboard the Volstak 1. He was about 26 years of age at this time. Um, his rockets propelled him up to 17,000 miles per hour and he reached elevations of 180 miles above Earth's surface. Um, he orbited the Earth in about 108 minutes space time which would be equivalent to one day and 48 minutes Earth time. Um, so once he was above Africa, his jets fired and propelled him down to Earth's surface. Upon re-entering Earth's surface, his jets fired once again to slow him down. At about 22,000 feet, about 22,000 feet above Earth's surface, he was ejected from his capsule and parachuted down to Earth, landing only several miles away from the spacecraft. But according to the FAI, um, in order for it to be an official space flight, one must land with his spacecraft. But the Soviets did not um, expose this information until 10 years later in 1971. So technically, uh, Yuri still is the first, um, first man in space. So let's wrap this up. By now, I hope you all have learned a thing or two about the, f the first space explorers of our generation. First, I talked to you about Laika, the first dog in space who didn't make it. Then I talked to you about Belka and Stroka, the first dog in space to safely return. And I talked to you about Yuri Gearing, the first man in space. So um, hopefully the next time we all talk about the, fir the first space explorers of our generation, <coughs> we not only recognize the American accomplishments, but also the Russian accomplishments. And 
the men and animals who put their lives on the line for the sake of the state.